Welcome everyone to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about five tips to taking better photos. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, I just wanted to say that better photos, good photos are very, very subjective. So photos that I think are good, you may not think are good. The five things are lighting, composition, color, story, and editing. The first thing is lighting. Photography in its essence is capturing light. Without light, there is no picture. When it comes to lighting, there's natural light and then there's artificial light. There's soft light and then there's hard light. When it comes to natural light, this is the light we get from the sun. Light that comes into your window, light that you see outside and just basically daylight. Artificial light is lights from your bulbs, lights from your lamps, and lights from this light that I have lighting my face right now, those are considered artificial lights. So there's hard lights and then there's soft light. This refers to the intensity of the light hitting the subject. In this example, you can see the difference between the hard light and the soft light. It all has to do with the intensity of the light and the shadows that's created when the light hits the subject. When it comes to lighting, there's also different colors of light. Right now behind me, I've got a yellow light and a blue light. So lighting can help convey different types of emotions when it comes to a visual image. So depending on the color of your light, depending on the, the intensity of your light, you can create different moods, can create different feelings, and it can help convey emotion to the viewer. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is composition. Composition refers to the way we arrange a subject within an image. When it comes to composition, you can talk about the angle, you can talk about what's in the frame, and you can talk about how you want people to see a particular image, right? So if you're taking an image from a high angle or from eye level, it's much different than if you come down and you take a picture from straight on. It's also different if you take from the left of the subject or if you take from the right of the subject. You can take a picture from different angles and it can convey different emotions, different feelings, and it can just tell a different story depending on the angle. And also when it comes to framing, framing means what you decide to put within the borders of the picture and also what you decide to leave out. In this example, I could put one thing in this frame or I can add different things to the frame to give it more depth, to give it more meaning and to add more emotion and more story to a particular picture. Also, when it comes to composition, there's different ways you can compose an image. There's different visually pleasing rules that have that photographers and image makers have used over the years over periods of time. You have rule of thirds, you have centered composition, you've got leading lines, you've got the golden circle, the golden, golden something. You can use negative space, you can fill the frame. There's different ways to go about composition and it's never ending. These are just some tips to keep in mind. The next thing I wanna talk about is colors. When it comes to colors, you can use complementary colors, you can use triad colors, you can use monotone colors. You can also use black and white colors. Colors play a big role when it comes to the emotions of an image, when it comes to emotions of a video. And you can use that to your advantage if you know exactly what you're doing. I'm gonna link below to the Adobe color wheel that you can use to basically plan out your image, right? But if you're just out there going about, it's good to also know that if you want a yellow dress, it can go with the green bushes. The next thing is story. As someone who takes pictures every single day. The one thing that I always think about is what am I trying to say with this picture? What story is this picture conveying? When someone sees this picture, what are they going to take from it? Before you click the button to take a picture, you should think about what is what am I trying to say with this? What are people going to take from this? What am I going to take from this? What am I going to do with this picture? Right? The more you take pictures, the more you think about these things and the more your images are going to come out looking better, looking sharper and just more overall, more interesting. I think this picture I took was one of the one of the first pictures I took at a rally for Black Lives Matter Toronto. In this picture, you can see that there's so much going on here. And to be honest with you, when I first took this picture, I had no idea what was going on. All I knew was that people were happy. People were celebrating and everything was good. So I just put my camera up and I clicked. The next thing you know, this picture was featured in a book. This picture has 
this picture has taken on a life of its own, right? And I just thought at that moment, oh, this looks like a dope moment. Let me just take this picture and here we are. The next thing is editing. Every single photographer I know edits their picture. Every single person I know edits their picture in some sort of way. Whether you crop it, whether you add a filter, or whether you just like turn up the brightness a little bit on the picture, that's editing. I believe everyone should learn how to edit in some sort of way. You can use the editing software on your phone. You can use a dedicated editing software like Lightroom or Photoshop, or you can use Snapseed or you can use Visco. There's a lot of them out there. So just edit your pictures a little bit, even if it's just use the basic corrections. These are all the tips I have for you. If you have any comments, please comment below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips like this. Thank you so much for viewing. And again, stay safe. Ebby out. Happy Star Wars week. Shout out to C3PO. I don't know. Ding, ding, ding. This is a problem. Uh, uh. Oh. Anyways.